Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. Alright, so I wanted to give you an update on everything with the Hornets game, but I think I'll save that for a different video. We'll get into this trade rumor here. Basically what I heard is that the Los Angeles Lakers are still trying to acquire Buddy Heald, same guy they were trying to get in the offseason. They want him now. Um, they're offering THT and some other undisclosed package for Buddy Heald. I'm assuming it's probably the $2 million trade exception. I don't think they'd want to include 2027 uh, first round pick in that deal, I'd imagine. But th that Rondo trade exception, I'm sure they'd be willing to attack on there. Uh, that's just my guess. But the point is, the package is catered around THT going to SAC for Buddy. And from what I understand, Sacramento said no thanks. I think Sacramento made a big mistake there. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think they made a huge mistake there. I think that they should take that deal and run with it. Now, I'm not saying that that's the best deal they may be able to get for Buddy Yield, but what I'm saying is they're a perfect team for THT. Um, THT is going to eventually turn into something very, very good. He's a Swiss Army knife. Not great at anything, but really, really capable of everything. His problem right now is his basketball IQ isn't very high, but that comes with time. He's still early in his career. He just basically started getting real playing time this season and has missed a great deal of this season um if i'm not mistaken i might be wrong about that but nevertheless he hasn't had uh consistent minutes he hasn't had a chance to start he hasn't really had a chance to be in a good offense if you ask me so it's a lot of things catering to why tht is kind of not developing as well as we'd like him to uh we're not that great at developing players and you do know that everybody who leaves here tends to play better thp is going to be no exception to that I'm pretty certain he'll be excellent for the Sacramento Kings. And one of the reasons why the Sacramento Kings should also do this is because Buddy Yield is yet another guard in a uh, four-guard rotation. And one of the reasons why they're not getting the most out of Buddy Yield is because of the inconsistency they have on his side of things as to where they got, uh, obviously, the lottery pick they just picked up in Mitchell, De'Aaron Fox, whom, of whom they paid a max contract to, and, of course, Tyrese Halliburton, who's also a fantastic young point guard in this game. Where's the time to play buddy yield now on the other hand if they have any sense they pick up tht slip him in at the three um and and have no issues there that addition by subtraction sliding everybody into their proper positions a little more so than having buddy yield on their roster plus buddy yield is runs hot and cold one game he'll, he'll give you 30 points the next game he'll give you five but the reality is this far into his, his career he shouldn't be this inconsistent um tht is also very inconsistent but the difference between the two of them Buddy Yield doesn't do as much as THT does. THT can give you assists, rebounds, blocks, steals, all of it. Buddy Yield's going to shoot the ball. <laughs> that's it. And that's another reason why I'm not as high on Buddy Yield as I am. Um, really, maybe some of the other players that we could possibly go after is because I understand that. Now, Buddy Yield would be more useful on this roster to me if Malik Monk didn't exist. Because uh, then we would need that shooting. We would need that pure shooter. Uh, but Buddy um Malik does <laughs> we have Malik Monk so you're just doubling down on Malik Monk and you're also doubling down on a lack of defense because Buddy Hill's not a defender either as to which TAT's, THT when he gets his basketball IQ up will be a capable defender and all of that so if you ask me THT is the better two prospects going forward even though Buddy Yield's more developed obviously today he's a better player but again the inconsistency I'm not in love with it so I think the Lakers, their desire to get Buddy Yield is a bit misguided. I think they're still trying to focus on a plan that they had in the offseason to build the team that they had in the offseason. And it's almost like, okay, we didn't complete that, so let's do it. It's sort of like I'm looking at uh, Daryl Morey in Philadelphia is what I think he's doing is going back, trying to get James Harden, even though that's an old plan that probably should not be uh, the plan going forward. But, you know, these, these guys... These GMs, they have their vision. Obviously, when you got LeBron James, he has his vision. So they're still trying to execute that plan, and I'm sure they believe in that plan because it's what they have in mind. But you just got to adjust. The NBA is changing, <laughs> and I don't think there's a whole lot of room for a guy that only does one thing. You know, if Buddy's shot's not falling, he's not doing nothing for you, and that ultimately is a problem um, that THT does not provide. So although I have my frustrations with THT, he's coming off of two very bad games. Again, his basketball IQ is not where it needs to be. I think with a little bit of coaching and more opportunities, patience, he will eventually turn into a heck of a player. As to which Buddy Yield is going to continue to be the same player he is now, five years from now, in my opinion, because he hasn't grown much since he came into the league, in my opinion. So, uh, not to be too down on Buddy Yield, because he's an excellent three-point shooter when he wants to be. He shoots a very good percentage. In fact, he, has, he shoots a historic percentage from three-point line. So, I'm not going to poo-poo on what it is that he does. But if he's not doing that... 
ain't doing much. So that's my take on that, man. I think we need to continue to shop THT if we can't develop him properly and give him the opportunities that he needs and the rope that he needs to be the player that he's going to be for the time being. You get him out of here and you bring in something that can help you win now. The problem is you need defense and you need rim protection, not necessarily another Malik Monk. So get your mind right, Lakers. Stop doing dumb stuff. Stop trying to come up with old plans and try to devise what the old plan was and improvise on what it is that you're seeing right now. One of the complaints that everybody who's critical of Frank Vogel, um, one, of their, one of the problems that we all say is that he doesn't make adjustments. Right now, as an organization, what I'm seeing is a team that is not making adjustments. They have a plan that was good for about seven months ago that they weren't able to execute. And instead of adjusting that plan, they're trying to continue to plus, uh, try to devise that plan. And it's just, it needs to be revised. <laughs> so that's that's where I'm at with that. Um, yeah, get us a damn center, you guys. Like, seriously, <laughs> we need someone who can rim protect and help rebound perimeter defense. Guys who have long arms, a Brandon Ingram type would be right on time. Get somebody like that. That's what you need. Get us another center because we only have one official center on the roster. AD is not that. Not a center. He's just playing center because you guys want to run him at center, even though he specifically told you when before acquiring him that he didn't want to play center. But you guys are hell-bent on making him a center. So there you have it. My frustration with the Lakers only grows. I love my team, but I am t I'm tired of everybody there, just about everybody. Um, and so I just want things to change for the Lakers. I, I want us to make the right changes, but it just looks like we're still pointing in the wrong direction, still doing stuff that ain't going to help us. Acquiring Buddy Yield and giving up a young, talented prospect like THT is the wrong move. For those who actually know what Buddy Yield's functionality is, it's the, it's the wrong move. So that's what I got, man. My name is BDO44. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.